Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have an image file open, you can place additional images on top of the original image in their own separate layers. An image file in Photoshop can consist of multiple layers. A layer is like a transparent sheet which is placed on top of the original file. You can place additional images and other items into their own separate layers on top of the original image layer. This way, you can select a certain layer and then make changes to only the items in that particular layer without placing the parts of the image in the other layers at any risk. When you place a file, it will be inserted into its own separate layer in the image. Once you place a file, it will be rasterized. That is, any vector images will be converted into bitmap format. It will also be rasterized at the pixel resolution of the file into which it's placed. To place a file, first open the image into which you want to place the artwork. Then select File and Place from the menu bar to open the Place dialog box. So File and then go down and select Place. Here you can use, of course, the Look In drop-down to select the location of the file that you wish to place. Once you've located it, you select the image and then click the Place button to place the artwork into a layer in your open image file. If you're placing a PDF document with multiple pages, you'll have to select which page you wish to place in the dialog box that appears and then click OK. Now the file that's placed is placed into a bounding box in the center of the open image. You can click inside the bounding box to drag the file around to change its placement. So I can click and drag to change where it's located. You can also resize it by placing your mouse pointer over one of the resizing handles located around the border of the file and then clicking and dragging to resize the file. So I can click and drag it to resize it. You can rotate it by placing your mouse pointer outside of the bounding box until you see a rotating arrow icon. Click and then drag to rotate the file like that. Once you're ready, you can then click the check mark in the options bar to commit to the changes or the cancel button next to the check mark to cancel the entire placement. Or if you're happy, you can also just click enter on your keyboard to place that file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.